Joining us in the studio now is Karen Lasardi. Karen is product manager with Sun Microsystems. Gary? Karen, uh, Unix has had sort of a bad reputation in the past for a num number of items like reliability and uh, lack of a good user interface and so forth. Uh, how has that changed with Unix in the last few years? Well, Unix has gained a lot of momentum in the last several years, and there's reasons for that. As you know, it's a very powerful operating system, and it supports multitasking so that you can do more than one function at a time. It also runs on a variety of hardware platforms, and many vendors in the industry do support Unix today. Um, one of the most key things about Unix is that it supports a lot of hardware that run over uh, networks. Very, mm -hmm. very large and what about the, but what about the reliability issues? Is that a problem anymore with Unix? Or is it um, not that we're finding at okay. this time. And what about right the interface issue that Gary mentioned also? Well, yes, key, that has it? been an issue. As as you know, in universities today, a lot of developers learn Unix. They write C applications mm -hmm. and so forth, and they move out into the industry and write applications. So there's a lot of support from the developers, but end users find it hostile, and many of them are very, very, very afraid of it. And this is one of the things you addressed with the uh, Correct, look, yeah. correct. Now, Karen, before we get into the demo, could you describe basically what kind of hardware we're dealing with here? Yes, this is a 386i, Sun 386i, and it provides you the ability to run both DOS and Unix mm -hmm. on the same screen. Mm -hmm. So you could open a window and run a DOS application in it, another window run a Unix application. And what would the approximate cost of a piece of hardware like this cost that you're running? Under five thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at what you what you got here. This is a rather familiar looking interface. In mm -hmm. fact, tell us about OpenLook. Okay. OpenLook is a graphical user interface that was designed by Sun and AT&T in a joint development effort. We also license technology from Xerox mm -hmm. Corporation. Um, what I've done today is brought four applications that have actually implemented the OpenLook specification. OpenLook is not a software product. Mm -hmm. It actually consists of two books. It's a style guide for the developer on how to design an application and a specification for the toolkit designer. Okay, show us on the screen okay. actually how you would so use it. So these are four applications. We have here SunWrite, which is a what you see is what you get editor. Mm -hmm. SunPaint, which is a paint application or what we call a raster yeah. uh, application. Um, and this one is SunDraw, which is an object editor or a draw mm -hmm. application. This is a file manager. This is critical. This one allows you to see graphically the Unix file system right on the, on, the, on the machine. As you know, most users that worked with Unix and users today raw, raw commands on a command yeah. line to get at their files. It was all by memory. This is one of the most integral parts of OpenLock. Okay, show us how you'd use it now and get into one of these applications. What we'll do is, first of all, what I'd like to show you is, as you see on, the, on this area right here is a control area, and each one of these windows has one. Notice that on there is buttons. All these buttons have common labels. Mm -hmm. and as you can see, each one has files view, edit. What's remarkable about that is each application you go into, the learning curve goes way down. So, for, for example, if I wanted to close this window, I simply click on mm -hmm. the window mark and it becomes an icon on the desktop. Same thing again here and you can put them away on your desktop and rearrange them again any way you wish. Can you open up the paint box, for example, and let's take a look at the, uh, or do some... Yeah, I'm pretty much is this, this is the kind of interface that most mm -hmm. users are familiar with. Correct. By now. I mean, there's nothing new here. You're Correct. in fact trying to make it comfortable with stuff yeah. that already exists. Some of the things, though, that are very nice about OpenLook, though, is I can preview my operations. For example, on the file, it says open or save. On view, it can be a canvas that brings up the appropriate window. Um, on um, edit, you can actually pin up a menu mm -hmm. and you can move that mm -hmm. to any location mm -hmm. that you wish. What is beneficial for the user is that I do not have to go back up to the control area to access the sure. buttons all the time. Uh -huh. It's minimum mouse movement, right. which you don't have on other user right. interfaces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once I pull the pin, it goes away. Same thing for each of the windows here. Pull the pin, it disappears. Mm -hmm. Now, if we wanted to actually use this application, I can bring this up, select whichever one I want to work with. I can easily move it out of my way because I might want to do some other things and draw right into the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, at any time, I can also change the brush pattern, select any one of these, again, tell it to go away, and change it. Mm -hmm. So everything's very intuitive, very, very friendly. Now, one of the most important things, though, that I found working with the interface is that other interfaces don't utilize is with the file manager, you can actually use something called drag and drop. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to actually load a file into the window, all I have to do is grab the icon, position it over the window, and it actually loads that file into the window automatically. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if the entire file is not showing on the screen, and we'll just put this one to the back, I can actually use the scroll bars at any time to manipulate the window to see the rest of the file. If I stretch the window with what we call the resize corners mm -hmm. in any one of the four corners, then the actual scroll bars, if they're not needed, will go away. In this case, not all of the file is still yeah. on the screen, so they're resident. Okay. Now, are there a lot of applications being written now for OpenLook? Yes. Actually, we have over 1,500 applications that are being converted to support OpenLook. And what's real exciting is the applications that you see here today are shipping. This uh -huh. is not vaporware. They're available. And we also have had early developers kits that our developers are taking Then they're actually working and designing uh -huh. applications now, today. Just returning very quickly to the price again, I'm, I'm very amazed at the $5,000 price tag. It well, seems to be. we have a vast array of workstations uh -huh. that Sun offers. Mm -hmm. And you can start at the very low end and go very, oh, very so expensive. So this would, this would not necessarily yeah. be the $5,000. Uh, the bottom end could be a $5,000. Yeah. Correct. Okay. 